my best mate here. Right, I'm getting a, a video for uh, for John. Um, well, and for anybody else who might find some benefit from it. Basically, he's trying to get a flute down there inside of that. He's managed this one okay, um, but he's struggling to sort of do that. You know, get all this in here without stitching it all up and doing it by hand and whatever. So, I'm just showing you. There's many ways to do it. God is give him, give him some, um, some, some drawings and stuff to do, have a look at. But he's asked me to do a video so that it, you know, it gives him an idea of uh, what he can do. Because I did send him a model of, of one I'd done for him. So, so here we go. So this is sort of that's the size he wants. Uh, this is this is a piece of pie as you can see, off a circle. And, and that's the sort of section he's looking uh, that he's after. So I've actually made that a component. So I'll go into that component, get my move tool, sorry, push pull tool, pull that up, oops, like so. And then I'm going to just re reference it to there. You see, a look at that endpoint outside activity. Bang, that's that done now, right? While I'm in the editing mode, I'm going to right click on that line there and hide it. This is for clarity later because it gets a little bit confusing. right? When you're happy with that, back out of the mode again, back in again, one click. Then I'm going to rotate some copies out. So I'll click it once there to lock it. Press control. Click it on that corner there then drag a copy out to this point here. Look, it actually locks. So this is where the inference is good. You can feel that little click going in there. And it should be also it should say 15 degrees at the bottom. You know it's right. Then left click to move it back over, and then I'm then going to put 23 times or X, and then enter, and that gives me then all the copies. Now I know, well, one because I've worked it out, but two measuring it, the pitch that goes up there it's six millimeters. Um, there is ways to do this if the, if you've got a constant thread going up. But it doesn't need it in this because it's a flat surface, so it's not so crucial. I won't go into that because it's a bit more, it's a bit more detailed, a bit more complicated. Anyway, but it's it's got to go up six mil, which is what I'm going to move it up six mil. So I'm going to select all of those components, get the move tool on the bottom corner there, press Control, put the plus in, and then move. This is a copy now going up, right? If you look at me, me length at the bottom in the box there, it says six millimeters. Now, if you can't find that, just move it anywhere, as long as it's on the vertical line, and just press 6 and enter, and that will do the same thing. Okay? There we go. So that's that sorted. Don't press anything else, and then I'm going to put 23 times enter. And now I've got 23 of them going up there. That should bring me all the way around to one circle, hopefully, he says, with great optimism. <laughs> right. Now I've got this one here. I'm going to hide one here. I'm doing this on purpose so that you can see it easier. I wouldn't normally do it myself, but I want to make it easier. I'm going to hide that and it lets me get into this side here. Right. If I then click on that, go into the editing mode of this component, uh, I'm selecting that face. Can you see? Nothing else. Get the move tool, pop it on the end there in the bottom corner. I'm now pressing Alt on the keyboard. Hold down Alt and then move that straight up vertically. Now if you're struggling to sort of get the vertical thing going while it's moving around, just press the down arrow and that will lock it. Can you see? I'm pressing the down arrow that locks it there. That's great. If you can't do that, that's fine. Do that. Then when you're in place, let go. Right? I'm now going to just turn on Hidden Geometry briefly. And there's, if you can see my, there's the one I hid earlier. Uh, if I then right click, unhide, there you go, it's unhidden. I mentioned earlier about that line I'd hidden, well there it is there. The reason I did that, because if it was on there, there's just lines everywhere, it gets so confusing, uh, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with it. So, I'm turning hidden geometry off now, I've got it on a hotkey, on G, so there you go, that's that gone. That makes that a bit easier. Now I've selected that there. Um, I then need to select, I'm holding down uh, control, uh, I'm then going to select that one, then that one. Now I'm going to pause the video now because I've got to go all the way around to the top. Okay. Right, back with you now. So I've gone round there, I've held down um, 
control and I've just as you, as you can see I've just gone all the way around selecting the ones that I want it just goes up just follow it all the way up until you've got that until you've got it just where you want it once you've got that that's fine right what I'm going to do then I'm also rest hold down control again right I'm going to um, select on that line there if I catch it which I've now got it I can see I've got it because it's gone blue right when I've got that I'm then going to use um, the move tool because they're all selected and then I'm going to press control and pull a copy out there like so okay did I bring that line down I think I did just yeah thank god for that right that's sorted so you could argue really now we don't need all that really so we might as well get rid of that because it's we don't, it's not required that's that sorted right now I've got that that's great uh, I'm just going to go into there now and I'm going to unhide hang on I'm going to unhide if I can find it get in there Phil tell you what let's put hidden geometry on that might be better there we go I'm going to unhide that line that's it okay that's great now because that's um, what I'm going to do just to make it a bit easier I wouldn't normally do this but it, I think it helps with you guys when you're learning because otherwise things start to stick to everything I'm just going to make that and that a bit of a group so I'm just going to group that so it's one it's just easier to rotate then okay now I'm happy with that because there's two flutes in this cylinder uh, I'm going to right click so I'm banging that onto there like so yeah right one click to lock it did that, did that go in the right place let me just check I think it did yeah one click there bang and then now I'm going to press control got the plus there can you see the plus sign and then I'm pulling the copy out should go bang 180 let me have a look well, I can try and work it out there 180 there you can type it in as I said 180 enter then it's done so now I've got a lovely copy going on there that's great that isn't it right brilliant sorted now then let's uh, so that's that done now what I'm going to do I'm going to get my circle tool like so that will find that, that see that inference it is it's finding the center again now find the center there pull out to there bingo dingo that's that sorted then I'm going to pull that straight up to there with the push pull tool that's now done now then I would myself personally I, 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 I would I would leave them separate as components right but there's a bit more work involved then you have to hide the edges and stuff like that and the reason I would do it I like them separate is because if I want to put a um, a texture up let's say like a line texture that follows up there you can do individual components and it, then you'll get that lovely curve of a lot of, of, of a texture once, once you make it once you explode it all one you can't alter you can't alter it either and two you know it's it's um it's just not you you've got the flexibility but anyway we'll, we'll ignore that now because I'm just going to tough this I'm going to go for it right so before I do that I'm just going to go into the I need to probably just yeah, see, go into that one there right because don't forget what's the same is is all done isn't it I'm I'm then gonna right I'm gonna erase that there oops we can get there and I'm gonna raise that there okay and I'm gonna raise that there that's now gone okay uh, now I've done that I'm happy right I'm going to um, I tell you what, I'm going to explode the lot now so I'll just explode it all done well that was the group exploded now I'm going to explode all the components that's now exploded right now if I then select there and unsoften it you have to unsoften it so that you get a division I've got a division now can you see if, if I've got if I take in job chop briefly I've got no division when I click that you see look so I need to unsoften it so if I right click unsoften spin that round unsoften and there's one up there unsoften 
like so we're getting there now so I can sense it right if I then turn hidden geometry off we've now that's exactly how we want it so then if I click on that one erase it that one erase it and that's sort of I think what you're looking for really so I, what I can do because now it's all one entity it's not a group I can actually technically soften that I can soften that so I would actually do that I'd right click and then soften but it's already there as you can see I'm gonna do the faces as well if I then just tick that that's too much really I think you're going a bit excessive there let's have a look yeah I'll go with that so that's sort of that there and then we can if you want to bang a bit of color on like so that's, well it might be nice if you're in the right if you had texture on wouldn't it and then uh, or whatever you know you, you get the gist and that's it there you can obviously you need to just obviously uh, make that little face up there because it's obviously uh, lost its way somewhere because I took it out earlier so there you go I hope that sort of gets you and helps you sorts it out for you and uh, any more problems John obviously uh, get back to me okay mate cheers then thanks a lot